All right, so let's get out of here. Here we go. Well, this has gone really well already. If you haven't noticed already, Jay Killen, um, I'm out of the water. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are playing Shipping Lanes again. It has been quite a while since we last played the game, and we're going to see what's been changed. We're also joined by Jay Killen, so yeah guys, let's get into the video. So, when we click play, we've actually got a new ship to our roster. This is the SL7, and we've got all of our MV Gillettes and the MV Octane, which is a reference to the LEGO Oil Company, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, let's check out this uh, new ship. Alright, so here we are, and I do see a lot of ships here, so are you the small one that's just, uh, just by the end of the dock? Yeah. Alright, awesome. So, we're gonna try something here. I've been wanting to try this for a while. I know that this might damage my ship, but we're gonna just see what happens here. Now, are you on your first, um, kind of load? Yeah. That's awesome, alright. So, uh, I'm just gonna find out something real quick. Now, this is a very big ship, and, uh... A ship of Jake Hillen's type is uh, probably not going to survive this. Oh no. Alright, so Jake Hillen, just uh, stay calm. This is all just a simple test to see what happens when a big ship crashes into a small ship. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. Are you actually outrunning me? Yes, you are. Just barely. You just barely survived that. Well, great. Anyways, I gotta load up with some cargo and we've gotta sail off. So. The basics of this game are you've got to load your ship up with cargo, take it to another port or the port destination for that cargo, and you make money. So, um, yeah, this is a pretty simple concept to understand, but we're going to try to uh, basically carry that cargo across. Now, I can't remember when the last time we played this game was, but it definitely was probably over a year ago now. So, uh, yeah, if you want to see that video, it'll be in the top right corner. Can't promise you that it's going to be up to my standards of video editing now, but uh, yeah, you can check it out. So let's go ahead and let's back into the port. We got to be really careful of maneuvering here because our stern might strike something. So uh, we're just going to back up here and now. Obviously, Tiny Sailor's World has been training me in uh, docking sequences, so I think I should have this no problem. There we go. Uh oh, we should really stop getting that close. Ouch! All right, so we're definitely going to have to fix up our ship. That's going to cost a bit. We don't need to refuel. We've got plenty of fuel. So let's go ahead and uh, manage our cargo. So, Jay Killen, what did you actually choose for your cargo? I'm not sure. I only clicked the uh, the only available option that it gave me for the uh, tutorial. Oh, really? What was that? Uh, basically just a few of these containers. I think it was eight of them. All right, so we've got a couple lucrative offers here, and I'm imagining the more expensive, the more farther away the destination is. So let's take a look here. All right, so let's go ahead and let's just choose the Newport one. There we go. So we've loaded up with some cargo, and we're going to make that money that we basically are going to have there. So yeah, Jay Killen, I actually do not see you on the map. Where are you right now? Uh, I went back to the menu to buy a bigger ship. Oh, really? Did you already go yeah. to the port? Uh, yeah, I dropped it off. All right. Well, um, I actually already see my destination. It's right there, and you can see that big ship there as well. All right, so here we are. We are on the move. Now, you'll notice our interiors are super barren, and that's because we can actually detail our interiors in this game. So we'll check those out once we actually make our way to our destination. Wow, look at that sunrise. That looks absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Now, one of the really cool things about this game is its water physics, and it's not really physics. More like there's actual waves and your ship can get affected by them, which I guess is physics, but it's sort of scripted physics. Now, as you can see, this looks stunning. I haven't seen this in any other game before, so this is just awesome. Jay Kellen, have you actually experienced the waves yet in this game? Yeah, when I was traveling from uh, the starter area that we were at and I was making my way over to Newport, there was a few waves. Yeah, so I can imagine your ship was rocking around a lot. My ship is not really rocking around, but just a little bit. I mean, we're kind of pulling into port here, so the waves are a little bit less. And you'll notice that they're actually starting to calm down as we make our way away from the open waters there. So here we are. We're going to pull into port. I'm going to hope that that tiny ship doesn't take up this spot here because we kind of need that to dock up. Where are you right now, by the way? Uh, I spawned back in Newport. I'm just now undocking. Oh, that's awesome. Is that ship there yours? It's blue, right? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Let me go ahead and just, uh, say hello here. So, my question is, um, 
What happens when we strike another person's ship? Do we get damaged? Or does Jay Killen get damaged? We'll find out. All right, Jay Killen, are you ready for this mini experiment? Oh, gosh. Yeah, this is probably not going to go well for you if it does do damage. Here we go, and... Mm, looks like nothing. Nothing on my end. Oh, I am taking damage. Well, then. Are you fine right now? Is your ship just completely fine? Uh, I think so. All right, so I guess there is, like, an anti-troll system installed in the game where if you try to sink somebody else's ship, it's not going to work out as you planned, which is actually really good because wouldn't it suck if somebody just did that to you while you were actually trying to do a mission or something yeah i would not be happy but hey we got damaged as a consequence but i don't really care too much since i've got many different ships that i can sail with in the game and uh yeah we're gonna currently dock up here because uh we gotta unload our cargo so let's go i'm assuming you're just sailing off in that direction yeah i'm having to head to emerald harbor for this one let me take a look at where that is to the very north oh wow hold on that is a new piece of land i have not seen before i do not remember that from the uh last version of the game i played so that's cool there's actually some new land there so we'll check that out as well in this video you're in seeing some heavy waves right now oh i can see you out there look at that i'm wondering can we actually sink from waves in this game that would be really worrying all right, so here we go. We're just going to try to dock up here. Obviously, we're going to damage our ship pretty heavily, but uh, no worries. Just going to go ahead and uh, try to get under this crane here. We're going to bump along the dock just a little bit. Here we go. We're going to turn the ship. We're going to throw it into, well, reverse to slow us down. There we go. All right, we are in pretty much full reverse here. And we have to wait to come to a stop before we can actually officially dock up. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and dock. There we are. So let's go ahead, let's unload this cargo and see what we got. All right, so let's go ahead and switch to unload mode and unload the containers. What's really cool is that the ship actually gains buoyancy when you unload. That's really realistic as well. So we're gonna switch to loading mode and we are going to go ahead and sail to where Jay Killen is sailing, which is Emerald Harbor. That's all the way north. And we have to go through a canal, so this will be interesting. All right, so there we go. The ship is full of cargo. We can't get anything else, and that's why it says ship is full. So let's go ahead and let's leave. All right, the ship is loaded up, and it's undocked, and we're heading out. All right, so I'll be following behind you, Jake and I can see you've just entered the uh, kind of canal or river there, so uh, yeah. All right, so here we go. We're just going to make our way out, and here we are. All right, so now that we're kind of lined up in the direction where we need to go, we're going to go through that little bit of a river there and then we're gonna just kind of weave our way through and then eventually we're gonna be making our way to the new land in game and then to that emerald port so let's go now you said you experienced rough seas jay killen so i'm really excited to see what this ship does in those rough seas so far how are you doing right now in your small ship uh the waves have calmed down a lot i'm about to enter through that desert area i guess in this like canal or river area it's very barren looking honestly really interesting let's go down the stairs here and yeah look at these waves we are getting kind of thrashed about here in these uh waters so this is actually a little bit dangerous so looking at the map we can see that we are making our way basically up through this little river here and then we're going to be making our way to the new land in game you can see jay killen is about to enter what i believe to be a sort of a parking spot for ships so if you've ever been on a long road and you notice that there's kind of a pull off to the side of the road that's similar to what this is if i'm wrong feel free to correct me but uh yeah that is pretty cool and then we will make our way to emerald harbor now what's really cool about this ship is if we go towards the stern we can actually find some midship superstructure with lifeboats which is uh, something that not most cargo ships have but it is really cool it kind of reminds me of the uh old tankers in world war ii i believe the engine room is around this area i hear a loud noise so um yeah but i don't think there's actually engine room access well, let's go up really quick i want to see what's up here obviously we can actually detail these interiors with uh, our own custom furniture which is cool but uh, yeah here we are there is no bridge up here but uh, still very cool to see we are actually moving really fast i really should get down there back to the bridge because um we don't want to be standing here for too long so let's go okay so we really want to get there now because we're about to run aground oh my gosh i just ran into a bollard that just slowed me down a lot i'm about to beach myself 
Oh no, this is very bad. Get to the bridge. We're moving at full speed towards the land. I am not going to make it. This is not good. Oh, here we go. We're about to collide and there we are. Oh no. Our health is like below half now. All right, folks. So that's why you don't leave the bridge when you're sailing towards land or sailing in general. That's just negligent. So um, let's hope we don't damage ourselves anymore or else we're going to the bottom. All right, so we are passing under the bridge and there we go. Very nice. So we're going to make our way around and we are going to dock up. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead. Let's pull into port and let's see what we can get from our cargo and uh, see how much we've wasted on damage repairs. All right, so this might be a difficult turn here. I've thrown the ship in full reverse and I'm swinging the stern around and I'm still not going to make it. So I'm just going to attempt to keep pulling this turn, but hopefully I won't slam into the dock or else I'm probably going to sink. And I've just made it there, so there we go. Let's go ahead, let's power up those engines again and see if we can get into dock here. There we go, there's Jay Killen there. Let's do a sort of sail by salute, but for ships. Oh, I've stopped. But luckily, I'm not sinking, so let's unload. I will tell you, I am nothing close to perfect in this game. I have crashed like, I don't know, countless amount of times at this point. But uh, let's just unload our cargo, repair our ship, and see what else we can do. So let's go ahead, let's repair the ship. Luckily, it wasn't too, too much. We still made a profit off this voyage. Let's refuel the ship, and we're kind of losing a bit more there, but that's fine. Let's go ahead, let's load up, but this time with a different ship. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go with the MV Gillette 2, not to be mistaken with the passenger liner, MV or SS Gillette 2. So uh, yeah, why don't we go ahead Let's spawn it in and let's transport some more cargo. Now this will also give me a good option to go ahead and customize my ship's interior. So we have a lot of options here. We've got a world map. This actually might be usable. Let's go ahead and let's uh, see if we can rotate this here. All right, here we go. And for some reason, it's not letting me place it in here. Oh my gosh, this is uh, very interesting. I can just place it in a window. And that's it. Can I do this on the bridge? This is just not going to be possible, is it? So, folks, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have to worry about losing my way anymore. Which brings up a very interesting question. How far can I go with this? Alright, so Jake Hillen, I'm wondering if you can stop by the Emerald Port real quick. I really want to show you what I've done. Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me finish making my way down to Davenport, which is towards the very south. Alright, so there you are, Jake Killen. All you have to do is just hop aboard, and I'll, uh, give you a tour right up onto the bridge. So, uh, yeah. Alright, so, here at the Gillette Line, we want to make each captain feel at home, right? So, what we've done is we have brought the home into the bridge. So, um, I think you're really gonna enjoy what I've done. So let's go ahead, let's go up to the bridge, and let's take a look at what I've done. Alright, so uh, why don't we walk on in? So I want you to, uh, I want you to just quickly take a look at everything I've done here. Oh my god. So as you can see, we've got the complimentary shower in the left, the toilet on the right, the main uh, pilot's wheel in the uh, the center there, of course. We've got the sink. We've got the uh, trees, obviously, to keep the oxygen flowing in the room. Exit signs to remind the captain that he's not truly at home. And there is always an exit out to the real world. We've got this uh, wonderful swordfish here. And um, last but not least, we've got TVs and monitors for days. Because he really doesn't need to know where he's going. He has to sense that. So, um, he can just watch TV all day, YouTube, whatever, and if he really does want to look outside, he'll have to get past, uh, well, uh, all the maps I put in front of the windows that completely block them anyways. So, uh, yeah, that's what a, uh, MV Gillette Cargo Lines, uh, captain is going to be, uh, welcomed with whenever they board an MV Gillette cargo ship. So, uh, there you go. Now let's see what your bridge has. Absolutely nothing. Exactly. All right, so let's get out of here. Here we go. Well, this has gone really well already. If you haven't noticed already, Jay Killen, um, I'm out of the water. Yeah, I could see that. 
Oh my gosh, I can see a lot of problems with my propeller spinning out of the water and a smaller ship going underneath it. Um, are you getting damaged right now? A little bit. Oh my gosh. Um, I think you're wedged. Wait, nope, you have escaped. I'm not sure if you would call this a maritime disaster, but I'm pretty sure, in some retrospect, this would be a maritime disaster. My entire ship is balancing on its nose. The entire stern and midships and mainly the front of the ship is hanging out of the water, just floating there. Oh, uh-oh, um, something bad has just happened. Oh, no. I may or may not be sinking. The stern dropped into the water. Oh, we are going down by the stern. Oh my gosh, the amenities. Save the amenities. Oh my gosh, we are going down quick. I think. All right, let's just, uh, let's try to go for the lifeboats. Oh, yeah, I realized. I had to remove the lifeboats because they cost too much to operate and refurbish because of all the amenities we put in the bridge, so... Yeah, that might be a problem. We're gonna run towards the bow. Jay Killen, I need some help here. Um, I may need you to, uh, kind of get me out of this port before the uh, port managers find out, or else I am toast. Gillette Lines is toast. We'll blame it on the pilot and we'll just go. Yeah, the like ship you're on sank. Your own here. All right, if if you're not gonna help me, I'm gonna swim to your boat and I'm gonna become a stowaway. Yeah, this is not good. Uh, this is actually quite bad. Um, I may be blocking some of the entrance of the port. So, uh, yeah. Sir, just stop. I'm right here. I am right here. All you have to do is pick me up. I'm right here. No, don't go. I'm right here. Please, rescue me. No! No! Well, I am definitely toast. Well, my ship disappeared, so actually, I think I might be fine. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.